Welcome to the No Sugar Coating Podcast. I am Amber Romaniak, emotional eating, digestive, and hormone expert. I am also the founder of amberapproved.ca. I support professional women achieve optimal health through mindful eating, self-care, and overcoming self-sabotage with food. This podcast provides the honest truth on what you really need to create body freedom. The No Sugar Coating Podcast provides information on healthy living, lifestyle changes, nutrition, and diet, and is intended for informational purposes only. Always seek the advice of your healthcare practitioner regarding your health and nutrition program. Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday or whatever day you're listening and welcome to episode 292 of the No Sugar Coating Podcast. I'm super excited for today's episode because I am going to talk about Freedom from Emotional Eating Live, which is out now for you guys to enroll until this Friday, June 18th at midnight to join me and the beautiful women who are going to be diving in to gain food and body freedom over the next six months together. So I'm going to talk about that as I kind of weave it into today's conversation. And I really want to talk about building your new identity and how to step into your most powerful life, because I feel like one of the blocks that really gets in a lot of women's way who desire to gain food and body freedom, desire to have a mindful relationship with food, want to build their confidence, want to learn how to love themselves, have better relationships, balance digestion and hormones, get the healing, feel the empowerment, raise the rates, feel valuable, not feel worthy. Like all of these different things, whatever's in alignment for you in your life is that they desire this, but the thought of having it feels like it's all great to analytically think about it, but how the heck am I going to get there? And I'm scared. I'm worried of who I'm going to be as I step into my power of what may change in my life. If I'm not using food to cope, like what's going to replace that? And there can be a lot of doubt and fear and worthiness. And so what happens is the ego, of course, comes in that negative self-sabotaging mindset and goes, well, just don't do anything. Just keep doing what you're doing. Don't change anything because like at least it's comfortable and safe and familiar, even though there tends to be a lot of suffering. So I want to kind of help you daydream and think about, contemplate, feel into what building a new identity with food in your body can look like and how that can powerfully impact every area of your life and how potentially getting support and guidance can help you step into this empowerment, this freedom, living your most powerful life. I witness women make these changes every day doing this. I've done this and I want to help you step into this because every single one of you listening deserves to have this empowerment and feel so much love and confidence and ease for yourself and feel so much freedom with food and deep self-love with your body. And so I really want to just tie this all in today because I think it's going to really help, hopefully help you break through some of those fears and invisible blocks that you've been putting up for yourself. So the show notes for today's episode can be found at amberproof.ca forward slash podcast forward slash 292. I'll just put the note out there. If you're wanting to like dive into all the details about freedom from emotional eating live, which is my six month program that is a launching like next week. So we're going to be diving in fast. You can click the link in the show notes. There will be like a banner image for you to click on to dive right in, get all the details and then pick your plan that feels best for you, the 2,222 American pay in full, the 444 American monthly payment plan, or the $3,555 VIP, which includes one private coaching session with me monthly for the six months. So you can click right through if you want to check that out right away, but I'm going to go into more details about it. So let's just dive right in. Like I was saying, I find everyone desires to be living their most powerful life, to be confident and have self-love and have food freedom and body freedom and reach optimal health. Everybody wants that. But there's a difference between wanting it and thinking about it and daydream about it and then taking the steps to execute, to actually create it for yourself, to feel it for yourself, to embody it, to live it, to practice it, to be it, to feel it. Because for a lot of people, the idea is nice, but when we consider actually taking action, this is where all the limiting beliefs, the programming, the conditioning, the stories, all the reasons, stories, and excuses why I can't, why it's not the right time, 
all that comes up. And that's really the pivotal moment is us going, am I going to let all of my reasons, stories, excuses, and fears block me from taking steps toward building a new identity? Or am I going to acknowledge what triggers my ego is bringing up and still keep walking forward anyway? And if you're already going, well, money is the thing for me. I hear you. You can still listen to this podcast and take the things away from today and journal about them, contemplate about them, reflect upon them, and still build awareness with your mindset without having to spend any money. And for some people you have money, but that's it's always been your story is you use that as the reason, the safety net, why you can't move forward, even though you may have it because you have lack mentality, you have money stories that actually we want to work on healing so that when you feel an aligned investment, you can actually do it without feeling the guilt that you're not good enough. What if I fail? And we're going to kind of dive into some of that today too. Amber Approved offers private coaching for hormonal imbalances, weight loss and digestive issues, emotional eating, and more. Contact Amber at amberapproved.ca to book your 30-minute complimentary consultation today. So building your new identity, okay, like this is big. So grab a journal, grab a piece of paper to take notes. When you think about building food freedom, being fully free of binge eating, binging and purging, emotional eating... No more food fears, no more diets, no more food rules, no more restriction, no more calorie counting apps, no more controlling food, stepping into mindfulness with food, stepping into tuning into your hunger signals and stopping when you're full, building a mindful self-care routine, setting healthy boundaries, saying no, asking for help. Oof, you may feel some discomfort already coming in when you think about these kinds of changes that empower you because you are sitting in a comfort zone of whatever you're sitting in right now. So maybe for you as an example, your comfort zone is, yeah, but food is my world. I love it and I hate it. However, I don't know what I would think about or focus my energy on if I wasn't obsessing over food, worrying about food, overeating, undereating, trying to control my food because I feel like every area otherwise out of my life is out of control. And this is the only area I feel I can control even though I'm out of control. I know for me, one of my biggest blocks before I had the eating out of the garbage can moment 12 years ago was really, I'm like, who am I going to be without food? Like I literally have stopping social I come home after my crappy job and just like put on a movie and numb out with food. And if I don't do that, like, what is my world going to look like? If I break up with food, what's going to fill that void? Like the uncertainty and the unknown of that was really scary and intimidating. And that definitely kept me stuck in the cycle longer than I desired to be because I really let that fear of the unknown of what I'm going to replace that with get in the way for a while. Or my ego convinced me that this is the way to go to keep using food. So how many of you can relate to that where it's like, well, who would I be if I wasn't weighing in all the time and dieting and trying to reach my weight goals and my calorie counting goals? And wow, I can't imagine not weighing or measuring my food or following a diet because if I don't follow something rigid, well, then of course I'm going to lose control and I'm going to overeat because I'm not controlling how many calories I'm eating. So there's that fear and uncertainty, but the beauty of actually ditching diets, like I talk about and learning how to listen to your body and slowing down and building mindfulness is, you know, don't need control. You stop when you're full and you really intuitively learn how to listen to your body and give her what she needs. But there's all of these different fears, worries, concerns. Well, it feels really uncomfortable to think about ditching diets. I don't know if I'm ready to do that. What if this doesn't work? What if this different approach doesn't work? What if I fail? That's another objection is the fear of failure. And what I always say to people is you fail on the journey. People fail when they come to work with me. It's totally normal. I want to teach you how to change the way you feel about failure. The ultimate failure to me is quitting and giving up on yourself. Otherwise, failure is just a learning opportunity. We learn, we build more awareness. We take those awarenesses and tools forward with us and we move forward. So if it happens again, we have more opportunity to shift more easily, to actually navigate the situation better the next time. So failure actually can empower us, but notice if that is a story for you. And I want to dissect all these because acknowledging these things is important in helping you take steps toward building your new identity. Because if you can acknowledge your reasons, stories, excuses, fears, concerns, worries, but still step forward, this helps you to build a new identity because you're going, I know this is here and I want to still build a healthy relationship with food. I want to ditch diets. It feels uncomfortable. It feels scary. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm going to. So acknowledging the reasons, well, 
If I'm not weighing it in every day, I don't have control over my body. I don't know how much I'm going to weigh. What if I lose control and then I'm not weighing in and let myself go? But that's the control. And what's below the control is fear and insecurity and unworthiness. And I find any of my clients who stop weighing in or only weigh in once a month because they just are curious, they feel such a weight lifted off of their shoulders because they're not putting all this pressure on themselves anymore. And then if we look at, this is a big one for a lot of women is envisioning loving themselves, envisioning feeling worthy, envisioning feeling happy and connected to their bodies and feeling grateful. And a huge objection around this is I don't feel like I'll ever get there. Or if I do, it's temporary and then I'll fail and fall back and the weight will all come back on. Or they fear and you may fear how powerful of a woman you can be when you learn to love yourself and you learn to be in your power and you learn to be mindful and build a mindful relationship with food in your body and you don't have all this physical symptoms is a lot of women go, well, that's scary. I'm so used to suffering and struggling and not having things go the way that I want them to that it actually scares me to think about being successful with these things. It scares me to consider being free of them. Because again, there's that void. Well, what am I going to fill it with? What's my life going to look like if I'm not consumed with all these things? So the uncertainty, like the gap between here, you listening to this podcast and the body freedom, the food freedom, the optimal health, the happiness, the empowerment, there's like a gap. It's like, you kind of know maybe what some of it's going to look like, but it's like, yeah, but how is this going to impact my happiness? How is this going to impact like my old stories, my victimhood, my excuses? How is this going to impact my relationships with my family, my kids, my spouse? Wow. Am I finally going to like have no more excuse as to why I haven't been out dating? Am I no longer going to be able to lean on these old stories? And if I don't have these safety crutches to lean on, because I work through them, well then... I don't have any excuses. I get to live my best life, but it's scary for people because we've been so conditioned that we're not worthy, that only certain people will have it, that you don't deserve it, or you have to like work, 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 work. And that's the only way to do it. Or it's who you know, which is none of that. It's all about our mindset and the way that we take care of ourselves and our thoughts and beliefs that really dictate our environment and the life around us. So it's, What are your objections? What are your fears, your stories? What's blocking you and holding you back from stepping down this path to build this new identity with food in your body? Journal them, write them down. Is it things that I'm mentioning? Is it something else? I know I've had women share with me. I'm really, I want to do this, but I'm worried if I do this, it's going to ruin my relationship because I know that there's a lot of self-sabotage And I feel like it's going to just be in my face. And I feel too comfortable, even though I'm suffering, I feel too comfortable in this relationship. I don't want that change. But then as you heal, you realize you're not going to tolerate not being treated with love and respect. So it can trigger other big change sometimes. Some women realize they're in the wrong job, that they're not being treated with respect at work, that they're being taken advantage of. And so then there's career changes. Some start businesses, some grow businesses, some end up getting pregnant after being told that they couldn't have a baby. And then all of a sudden they're planning to bring a little one into the world. And that you know, becoming parents. So while you're on the life's journey and your ego has created this plan of how you think your life is going to go and it's going to go this way. And this is the only way it can go. When you do this kind of work, magic happens, mass transformation happens, and it's exciting and empowering. And yes, it can be scary and uncomfortable, but it all unfolds the way it's supposed to. Everyone has their path and we're all here learning our lessons, going through our healings and teachings that we're meant to be in this lifetime. And so it's to just recognize what are the blocks? Well, I'm afraid to do this work because I'm afraid my friends aren't going to like me anymore because I'm not going to be a people pleaser anymore. And I'm going to say no sometimes. Wow. If I'm not proving all the time, like, who am I? Some women realize like, I don't know if I'm doing what I'm meant to do. I don't know who I am. And it's okay to have these periods of times where you like shed all your old behaviors and mindsets and beliefs that no longer serve you because guess what? That opens up the space to now fill it with new, with uplifting, with what's aligned now, the people, places, and situations that are aligned now, the thoughts and beliefs that are in alignment now that are more empowering and positive and aligned to worthiness and love and respect for yourself. And so that's why it's so important that we actually start to think about What do I want as I do this deeper work and I evolve? 
what do I want? How do I want to feel? So you can journal on this too. And this is something that we're going to do in freedom from emotional eating live is actually do some, I'm going to do a, one of the bonuses is a mind map. I'm going to take about an hour and go through this beautiful mind map with all of the women who come into this program. And we're going to explore a lot of different areas of your life and what you want in these different areas. And I'm going to be more broad today and get more specific in that specific bonus in the program. But it's to actually take some time dedicated in your self-care routine and go, okay, well, if I gain food and body freedom, how do I want that to impact my mental health? Do I want to feel more at peace, more happy, calm, grounded, feel more love for myself, more respect for my body? Am I more in tune and aware of my body and my intuition? Am I in more joy, bliss, zen, happiness on a regular basis? Feeling worthy, feeling unstoppable, feeling abundant, having a more open and abundant mindset versus lack and contraction, believing in myself. And if my mindset is more empowered and I'm more in my power and my ego is less in control, like how does that impact my physical health? Do I want more energy? Do I want my bloating to go away? Do I want less inflammation? Do I want to have a mindful relationship with food? Do I want my hormones to balance my PMS symptoms to go away? My menopause symptoms to go away? My cycle to come back? Do you want to get pregnant and be more fertile? your mood to improve, your skin to clear, your inflammation to reduce, symptoms from a current diagnosis to calm down, your blood pressure to reduce, your heartburn to go away, your food sensitivities to resolve, your cravings to go away, your blood sugar to regulate. Like, What do you desire for your physical health? It's so important that we start to explore and actually gain clarity on what we want because the clarity of that helps us to build this new identity. And that's what I do with my clients. And I'm going to do that in Freedom from Emotional Eating Live because it's great to help you gain freedom. But we also want to talk about, okay, as you step into this new identity, how do you navigate that? How do you build upon it? And how do you upkeep the habits and the changes? Because it really is lifestyle. It's not just temporary. And then you go back like this is for life. And so I want you to prepare your mind to accept these changes because it's so positive and powerful. So that's where gaining clarity on what you want your new identity to look like is so important. Relationships, what kind of relationships do you want to have? Equal give and take, equal give and take of energy. You lift each other up, lots of love, positivity, respect, holding space for each other, being able to express yourself. It's safe to be yourself. Both people feeling worthy, both people taking ownership and responsibility for their own stuff and ideally not projecting it very often on the other person. Understanding your ego, because when you understand your ego, ego, which is that negative self-sabotaging voice, when someone else's ego takes over, it's easier for you to have compassion for them and actually notice them in their ego. And it actually lessens conflict, which is super powerful because you can see when people are behaving from their ego versus being in their power. And it helps you to be more understanding. It's not that you tolerate it, but it's just easier to set boundaries and have more empowering conversations. Do you want there to be fun and adventure in the relationships, intimacy, love, happiness? Like, what do you desire in relationships? And if you build food and body freedom, how does that amplify your relationships? Money. This is a big one. And it's interesting because a lot of my clients have been coming to me lately asking about value, raising their prices, charging their worth. Like, I think I want to start a business. Like, where do I even go? What do I do? Realizing how much their worth is maybe tied up in their current business and they're resenting their services because they're not charging enough, but they're scared to ask for what they deserve. They're overbooking their schedules. They don't have boundaries and then they have adrenal fatigue. So it's like looking at your relationship with money and going, I have an open mindset. I feel abundant because I'm healing my relationship with my body and food. I feel more confident. I'm asking my worth. And if you're not in a career or a business, it's like still being able to have an abundant mindset with money and trust that like it can manifest money in unimaginable ways. I'm open to receive. And it's not even just money. I find women have trouble receiving in general, receiving compliments, receiving love, receiving gifts, receiving affection from others, receiving beautiful conversations, receiving intimacy. It's so important that we build our worthiness so that we can settle and sit back more deeply into receiving rather than just give, 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 giving and people pleasing. You are worthy to receive. 
And also I find when we're in a emotional eating and things like that, we go into a more of a lack mentality with food. And even with money, it's like, I'll never have enough money. I'll never have enough food. I'll never have enough love. And so I want to teach that that really comes from the unworthiness. I'm not enough. So I'll never have enough. And the more we fill the void, the lack of self-love, you feel worthy. You have enough. You realize you always have enough and that the universe supports you and is always bringing more. This is so much mindset work. And we're going to be doing a lot of that really in powerful ways and freedom from emotional eating love. Live. There's going to be a lot of really great stuff that I'll dive into right away. But working on these core pieces is what helps you to step into your most powerful life. But first, you need to gain clarity on what you want in these different areas and acknowledge your fears, concerns, stories, reasons, excuses, blocks, acknowledge them, but walk through the invisible wall anyway, because you're going to have time to work through these and explore them and understand them. And that will help you to actually let the old stories go and create powerful new affirmations and stories and identities of who you want to be and how you want to feel. And one of my favorite affirmations is I am a beautiful, powerful woman with ultimate unlimited success in the world at my fingertips and all the love, freedom, abundance, just like, Oh, I feel so good to say things like that. So you could create an affirmation that helps you start to step into this new identity, especially when your ego takes over. So first, being aware of your reasons, stories, and excuses helps you step into your most powerful life. Second, starting to get clear on how you want to feel in these different areas of your life. Recognize resistance. Recognize your ego coming up and going, you'll never have that. You're not worthy. You're not meant to have that. Only certain people are, and you're not that special. Like That's all BS. That's all story. But insecurity makes the ego be in control more easily. And the ego has controlled us for our whole lives until we become aware we have one and that we can learn how to take our power back and that we can use the tools, the coaching, the support, the information in these podcasts and the program I'm going to talk to you about right away, private coaching. Like we can totally navigate this. It's interesting. I was having a client session earlier and she's like, I came to you because I wanted to lose weight. And she's like, we're only a few months in and I'm realizing how deep the mindset pieces and that that's actually the biggest piece because my ego and knowing I have an ego and that's what's caused me to people please and give too much to others and overbook my schedule and not give to myself. She's like, that's what caused my anxiety. That's what's caused the emotional eating. That's what's caused all my physical symptoms and my low mood and all of these things. And she's realizing now that I'm understanding my ego and learning how to take my power back, she's seeing that the weight has hung on because her body's been in such a heightened state of overwhelm and the self-sabotage and not enough rest. And so So it's eye opening to see what a significant role the mindset plays in this. And that's why it's so important to gain clarity on what we want. Be aware of the stories and the ego chatter, but actually keep stepping forward into creating this new identity because nothing really needs to get in your way. And the only thing that usually does is the ego. So another thing that can help us step into our most powerful life is sometimes getting support. And that is something that I always encourage because another story that can come up is, well, I'm not worthy to receive support. I'm I'm weak if I ask for help. I'm weak if I need to hire someone to help me with this. And those are all stories. What I believe is that you're brave and you have courage if you're realizing you are stuck and blocked and that you actually desire and know you deserve to live your most powerful life and have food and body freedom. And that takes courage and that takes bravery and that takes having a bit of blind faith in yourself and jumping off the cliff anyway, because your ego is going to try its best to be really loud and block you from taking the action. And that's why we stay stuck because we'd rather sit in a comfort zone of discomfort and suffering because it's familiar and we know it rather than change. Change feels the hardest when we're doing our deeper work within ourselves. But change doesn't have to be bad. It can be really exciting and uplifting. It's again, it's like, how would you feel if you had the optimal energy? If your mental clarity was like the best it's ever been, if your sex drive improved, if your PMS symptoms went away, if your bloating went away, if you stopped emotionally eating, like if you fully gained freedom, if you no longer feared food or feared gaining weight, finally the protection comes off. You feel worthy, you feel happy, you feel so incredible and so powerful. Like this is what happens when I watch the women who come into my world do the deeper work and you can have it too. And it's not too good to be true. It's legitimately real. And I see it all the time. So it's considering, okay, is it my time now? And 
transitions into me talking a little bit about freedom from emotional eating live. So this program was really created out of a desire to create a live online program where I'm connecting with you every step of the way. And I really wanted to create something that was a good period of time. Six months is beautiful because it really allows us to dive deep and having support over a six month period is really important to make lasting changes. And I wanted to have a program where I could bring in as many of you as are aligned to come in and to support each and every one of you in this group setting and in the private Facebook group that's going to be available, but that you still also get to connect with me for one 45 minute coaching session, unless you select the VIP uh, and then you get one a month. Um, but there's only three of those spots available. And once they're gone, they're gone. So if you do want to jump on that, please do not delay. I know um, if they're not already sold out since we launched on Friday, that they may go very fast. So, you know, I really want you to just take a few moments and close your eyes, if you will, as long as you're not driving or walking, come back later if you are, because I don't want you to get into an accident. So, you know, take a few deep breaths, get settled into your chair, get comfortable and imagine if you could feel more in power with food, if you no longer needed to use it as a crutch, imagine not needing to use food when you're stressed, you're bored, you're frustrated, no longer giving into those cravings because they've gone away. And how would it feel if you let your body relax, if you stepped into self-care without feeling the guilt and your body actually found its ideal rhythm and because your body felt safe enough, she let go of the protection without restriction, deprivation, too much exercise. Just take a moment and think of how it would feel. Even if your ego is trying to come up, it's like, no, I'm just going to focus on this and just imagine possibly what it could feel like. Do you feel lighter? Do you feel uplifted? Do you feel empowered? Because this is what this is all about is it lifts you up and it helps to empower you. So I totally get where you're at. I've been through this. I went through binge eating, binging and purging food addiction. I know what it's like to go through all of this and to understand how to change it and how to overcome it and how to gain freedom from it. Because I know hopelessness and sadness and frustration can really come in. You feel like you don't know what to do. You feel like you've tried everything. Nothing is working. But I find maybe you've tried all the diets, but it's very rare that I talk to a woman who's actually tried to in a deeper holistic approach to address all of this mentally, physically, emotionally, even energetically. And perhaps you've already spent hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars on diets, fitness programs, quick fixes, supplements, etc. And you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm hesitant to invest in anything else because I've already spent so much money. However, if you've only tried quick fixes, it could be a disservice for you to not consider diving into something that's really going to address the root issues. And like I always talk about, you hear me talk about this all the time, the eat less, exercise more model is so archaic and is just a multi-trillion dollar a year moneymaker for the diet industry. Diets are designed to make you fail and cause a lot of emotional disruption because the more vulnerable you stay, the more money you spend into the diet industry. Because if it really worked, why are so many people struggling, let alone women, but just people in general? And it's the dieting and the restriction and the focusing on the numbers and the calorie counting and the number on the scale and the clothing size and attaching your worth to those things that fuels more emotional eating, more bloating, more cravings, more fatigue, and keeps you feeling out of control. And this is ultimately what fuels more weight gain more hormone imbalances and more desperation. And that really impacts and takes a hit on your confidence, your worth and your body image. I know that it does. I went through it. I witnessed women of all ages from their twenties to their seventies as well, who've experienced it. And I just have so much compassion because it's not a fun feeling in the moment. However, there are different options available. And this is where freedom from emotional eating live comes in. So let's go into the details of the program. So this is a six month program. We start on Wednesday, June 23rd. Each month you will have a live breakthrough session with me and the calls will be about an hour and a half, give or take a little bit added on at the end for some sharing and responses. We're going to be live together on Zoom and I'm going to dive into the content of each month's program and dive deep and explore the ego and mindsets and behaviors and thoughts and triggers. And I'm going to go through each topic here so that you guys know exactly what you're getting, all of the information as well. And more in depth than what I'm sharing today will be on the sales 
sales page. So you'll be able to click through in the show notes at amberpoo.ca forward slash podcast forward slash 292 and go right to Freedom from Emotional Eating Live to see all the details. However, there's going to be so much provided. So it's like you sign up and then you'll get a welcome email and it will give you your login to make a Thinkific account. You'll get access to the private Facebook group the day that we start the first live breakthrough session. And then you're also going to get different worksheets and pieces of homework to bring to the session so you can take notes. You'll be able to then use the tools and the recommendations and the worksheets between the calls and start building these habits. In the Facebook group, you're going to be able to ask questions. You're going to be able to share your struggles, your celebrations, your wins, your losses, your awarenesses, and get some support from me in there and be in the collective community of all these incredible women who are going to be there on the journey with you. And it's so beautiful to have that community. All the calls will be recorded. So you'll be able to go in and access them a couple of days after the live recording. And you'll be able to watch them as many times as you want because you get lifetime access to this program. And then the second session we have, every month is a live Q and a for you to come on live, ask your questions and get some coaching from me right there in the session. And those will also be recorded and uploaded so that you'll be able to watch them for life, lifetime access. You also get, like I said earlier, one 45 minute private coaching session with me. And those will be booked once all the women are enrolled in the program. And then I will reach out to each and every one of you privately and arrange that time. If you do decide to do the VIP, you get one session a month and I would contact you as well to book all six of those out one a month over the six months. So it's great to have that kind of support. I do find that from now, because we're in summer, well, I guess if you're on this side of the world, but for a lot of the world right now, it's summertime or we're just easing into summer. And I do find summer to be a vulnerable time. There's lots of parties, lots of barbecues, camping, trips. Hopefully for a lot of people, they're able to do this this year. More social, right? Like you're on patios more, you might be eating out more, whatever that looks like. And so I find there can be a lot of temptation through the summer. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to launch this program before, just before all of that, because I want to support you and hold you in this space and help you to have success with mindfulness and overcoming emotional eating and not having it all be a massive trigger for you. I don't know how many of my clients had struggled through summer, you know, expressed to me as we're working together through this summer, like I really feel confident like this summer is going to be completely different. And doing this work has been a game changer for me to not completely throw my health and my body under the bus. And I can have balance and enjoy mindful indulgence, but I don't need to overdo it and then feel like absolute garbage. And we also will be working on the body image. So the triggers with the swimsuit and the more revealing clothing, like all of that we're going to address. And the other nice thing is then we go into fall and the holidays And so you get the support through the long weekends, through Canadian Thanksgiving, Halloween, American Thanksgiving. And we wrap up the beginning of December, which takes us into, you know, just before Christmas. And by that point, you'll be so aware of your ego and aware of your triggers and feel confident with your triggers and emotional eating and and over that and mindful eating and self-care that you'll be like, I'm so ready to actually enjoy the holidays this year. And I have no fear or worry around losing control. I know this might be the first year I don't gain weight through the holidays. I know this is the first year I'm not going to go on a diet this January 2nd. And that is freeing. It's relieving. Like, how would that feel for you if this was the chatter going on for you, the experience, because you did this deeper work? No more diets in the new year, navigating all the holidays with mindfulness, not overdoing it, enjoying your favorite indulgences, but also mindfulness, not getting the bloating, the weight gain, the negative self-talk. How would that feel? Uh, it feels so good. It feels so good to have the best of both worlds and not have to either be all or nothing in restrict or all or nothing in completely losing control. So month one of the program. So the first topic is going to be emotional eating triggers and really exploring your specific triggers for emotional eating. We're going to be having a deep discussion about that and the diet mentality and that we've been conditioned and why you behave the way you do with food. And that will then lead us into tools and support to help you overcome a emotional eating and also build awareness and take ownership of why you use food to cope. And it's going to help you master 
overcoming emotional eating and feeling empowered with food in your body, which helps you feel more unstoppable in other areas of your life. We're going to be diving into self-care rejuvenation and lovingly baby stepping towards you, making yourself a priority with self-care, with setting healthy boundaries, with talking about perfectionism and people pleasing and and how that ties into worthiness and, and why it's so important to shift those dynamics because those things just trigger emotional eating and, and more self-sabotaging cycles. Month four is going to be all about worthiness and mindful eating and building mindful eating practices and gifting yourself a beautiful mindful eating experience so you can enjoy your food. You can enjoy the environment you're in while you're eating. And it's not like it has to be like crazy fancy. You have to go buy a bunch of stuff. It's about creating the environment sometimes with what you already have, but just shifting the way you view mindful eating and getting rid of the distractions. We're going to be diving deep into body love confidence and helping you build a mindful relationship with your body and working on the negative self-talk and the ego chatter and the unworthiness tied to that and the weight. It's very important that we work on the, the body image and the mindset around that because a lot of that is what's fueling the emotional eating and the diet behaviors and the bloating. And, and what's so beautiful is as we go through all of this, your digestion will improve. And that's what I love about adding in the private coaching session is you can come in and you'll fill out an intake form before we have that session. And then we'll be able to have a specific discussion around like gut health or specific foods, tea, spices to support your gut or supplements, right? Like we can talk more specifically. And that's why I wanted to add that in for you guys so that I can be more specific in my recommendations with you, each of you versus all of you potentially needing different recommendations. And if you do the VIP and you want to do some hormone testing and you want to go over that together in those private sessions, we can definitely do that too. But your hormones will regulate going through this program. Your digestion will improve. Your blood sugar will improve because of the powerful changes you are making with your mindset, with your relationship with food, your body, and making yourself a priority one step at a time over the six months together. So all of that always improves because of the mindset and habitual changes. And as I've mentioned, the sixth month is holiday food freedom because we are going to be navigating the summer and Halloween, America. American Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving, and just on the verge of Christmas. So these are vulnerable food times. I know this used to be the second half of the year was always more vulnerable for me because of all the summer and then the holidays going into the fall. And so addressing your triggers specific to the holidays, your fears around food and losing control specific to the holidays, self-care tools to navigate the holidays, how to not gain all the weight and be in mindfulness and be present to make the memories and the connections that you desire with your loved ones instead of fixating on food is really the ultimate goal. And you get to enjoy mindful indulgence. Like that is the key here. That is really the key is that you get to have it all. And so that's how it's going to lay out. But when we go through these sessions, you know, that's why I love the live Q and A's in the Facebook group, because I can come in and ask or answer your specific questions, even if it's something completely different than what the six month plan is. I always love to have structure and at the same time, welcome in whatever support and guidance you need in the Facebook group and in the private session and the the Q and A. So there's a lots of different levels of support here in this program. So just to recap, you get the six monthly body freedom breakthrough sessions where we connect live to go through each month's content and exploration, the monthly live Q and A call with me and everyone in the group to dive deeper into your unique struggles and ask your questions, different transformational tools, powerful self-care worksheets to help you shift away from food and build mindfulness. The one private 45 minute coaching session with me with personalized attention or the VIP, you get the six, the private Facebook group and some freaking amazing bonuses. So you're going to get a powerful body love meditation. You're going to get the mind mapping visualization, which is going to be partially like for you to do some meditation or visualization. And then you're going to actually be writing out and and mapping this out through the prompts that I give you in the audio that I'm going to share. You also get the blood sugar balancer, which is two 
powerful videos that are going to help you significantly reduce your cravings as well as regulate blood sugar. There's going to be lots of good things in there that you're going to love. So those are some very special things that I've specifically added in just for this program exclusively. So to go through the pricing so that you guys are clear on that and you'll see all that on the sales page, there are three options available. The first option is the pay in full, which is $2,222 American. And so that you can do the pay in full. You do save uh, about $600 by doing so. And there's also a convenient monthly payment plan. So it's $444 US. And then the VIP is $3,555 US. That is only paid in full. I do not have a payment plan for the VIP. So three spots available for the VIP. Otherwise, there are spots open for all of you that want to come in and do the program. You'll see an FAQ below the sign up if you have specific questions. The program starts Wednesday, June 23rd. As far as access, you have lifetime access. The program is in US dollars because I find that's the universal currency and my audience is global. So it's just easiest to do it that way. And then do you expect to lose weight on the program? Well, it's not specifically focused on weight loss. It's focused to take your focus off of it. However, what I find is as we do this deeper work and we do the deeper healing, the bonuses, you make the changes, you address the root issues, your body feels safer and she naturally lets go of the protection at the pace that feels good for her because you're building the acceptance as well. I find some of the biggest changes that women will make as they go through this process is really overcoming emotional eating, which is so freeing. And it's whether it's food addiction, emotional eating, binging and purging, it doesn't matter which one you're in. This can help you overcome all of that. You'll feel more free. You'll be kinder to your body. You have a much deeper level of awareness with your body. Your digestive issues go away. Your hormones regulate. You feel more at ease, more grounded, more happy, more at peace because you're opening up time to take care of yourself and make yourself a priority. And like I said earlier, as your body feels safer, you may very well let go of the protection. And so another question is, what is the difference between this and freedom from emotional eating, the five-week program? This is really, honestly, you get the longer time frame. We get to go a lot deeper with the coaching, the guidance, the tools, and support and recommendations. Being that we're doing it over six months, you have more time to integrate recommendations, and that helps you make lifelong lasting transformation and changes. It becomes lifestyle change. And I had a lot of recommendations and requests for a longer program also, you can be held more lovingly accountable because I'm there coming into the lives and the Q&As and the Facebook group. And then, of course, you also get the private session or six, depending on what you decide to do. So it's very, very, very in-depth. And there's a very deep level of support available here. And like I said last week, being that private coaching starts at about 7,000 Canadian, which is 5,500 American, this is a great mid-level investment where you still get some one-on-one -on -one attention or support from me. So it's a third of the price. So it's really, really powerful. And I want to bring in you know, these mid-level programs so that I can support you whilst you are potentially desiring to work toward private coaching, because that's something that you can always save for if that's what you desire. So that is all the juicy details of Freedom from Emotional Eating Live. I'm so excited to launch this program and welcome all of you beautiful women into it. I've honestly just had a blast over the last couple of months at getting it all ready and like so grateful for my team who's been helping me build everything out. It looks absolutely beautiful and the content inside is just going to be so amazing and it is going to be life-changing. So imagine diving into this and who do you want to be in six months and who could you be if you got this level of support? food freedom, overcoming emotional eating, no more bloating, navigating the holidays with ease, more happiness, more confidence. Maybe you run a business and you double your prices and you have a record year. Maybe your relationship with your spouse, your kids, your family significantly improves and there's so much happiness in your house. These are priceless changes, priceless changes that you deserve to have. Mastering your ego, loving yourself, feeling worthy, we all deserve these things. And this program is a program that the doors will close on June 18th, Friday, June 18th at midnight. And likely this program will 
not come again until 2022. So if you're like, I want this, I'm going to make it happen. This is a great time to dive into this, but this is a program that I will likely be launching at least once a year. And so once we dive into this round, if for some reason it's not your time, I will put up a wait list and you'll be able to dive into the next round. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. It's honestly all about recognizing your reasons, stories, why you can't, the fears you have and hesitations around why you don't feel worthy making a new identity or you're fearful of the unknown of who you'd be without food or all the fight with your body. Like all of that is completely normal and okay to feel. It's honestly just about acknowledging your stories and moving forward. And I don't necessarily like mean like you have to do this program. If it feels in alignment, you're like, this is a heck yes, I know I want this. This is exactly what I've been waiting for Amber to make. Great. If money is an issue and you need to save, that's totally fine. You can access the podcast and my free resources and or you can go into a smaller level program like Freedom from Emotional Eating. So it's about whatever feels in alignment for you. I'm never going to say you have to do something. However, recognize the stories that may come up in the ego. The ego blocks us. So be be aware of that. You deserve to step into your most powerful life. And if it's an alignment and if it's resonant, I can't wait to see you in Freedom from Emotional Eating live. And I hope you guys really, really, really enjoy this process and, and this program that I've built for you because I just put a lot of love into it. So the show notes for today's episode can be found at amberproof.ca forward slash podcast forward slash 292. The link will be in there to go to Freedom from Emotional Eating live. So you can click right through. It will be very easy to find. If you have questions, feedback, or podcast ideas, you can email me at info at amberproof.ca. If you have any specific questions about freedom from emotional eating that I haven't answered for you here or on the sales page, feel free to email me as well at info at amberproof.ca. I'm happy to give you any clarity that you desire. Be sure to go to amberproof.ca and take the emotional eating quiz, learn more about body freedom. And as I always say, remember, there's no better time than the present to take action on your health, your mindset, stepping toward building this new identity. So take action now, one little step at a time evolves to make the change. So have a beautiful day, a great week, and I cannot wait to share a whole new episode with all of you next Sunday. Thanks so much for listening to the podcast. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe, review, and rate this podcast and share it with your friends. You can find me at amberapproved.ca and follow me on Instagram and YouTube at Amber Romaniak. Join me next Sunday for another brand new episode and another step toward body freedom.